Uh, to this Thursday and class number what? Seven, okay. So um, tonight we have like um, kind of sad question. So we were studying superlatives as well. You remember that estamos también dando una revisada a los superlativos. So well, um, let me show you. Hello, Wendy, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? I'm fine. You're really fine. Okay, that's perfect. Carito, the Colombian girl. How Hello. was your day? Tired. Weird. Weird. No. Tired and weird. Okay. Well, remember, um, Thursdays are not so easy sometimes, but as uh, the something good is that tomorrow is Friday, so almost the weekend, right? Casi llegamos al fin de semana. Okay, my dear friends, we are on class number seven, and the topic is simple present information questions. Okay, so we're going to start. Uh, we're going to talk about information questions, how to respond to these um, questions, different forms to say almost the well, or oh, different forms to provide information questions, okay? So uh, this is the class number seven, and here we have this. What's the saddest moment in your life? And I know that it is not so easy to talk about sad, um, sad experiences, but it is necessary sometimes, and it is also good because we can talk about different topics. También podemos hablar de temas, pues, eh, un tanto diferentes. And that's, the, that's something positive. To, how to give your opinion, como dar su opinión, how to give your opinion about different topics. So, um, in this case, what's the saddest moment? Do we have some volunteers? I know that it is difficult to talk about it, but do we have volunteers for this? ¿Cuál es el momento, el momento más triste? Eli, okay, here we have Eli and Mardo. Okay, that's perfect. What is the saddest moment in your life? Yeah. The day my dad died. The day my dad died. Okay. The day, the day my dad died, okay. How old were you? ¿Qué edad tenías? I was. Uh -huh. Para decir la edad es I am, ¿verdad? Pero como en ese, yeah. en ese tiempo tenías en el pasado, ¿verdad? I was. I was. Um, 38. I'm sorry. 38. 
38. Okay, I was 38 years old. 38 even. Years. Okay, you were an adult and even that affected you, right? Aunque eras ya, ya adulta, te afecta siempre, okay? Yeah. So we are not ready to say goodbye to our parents. Nunca estamos listos. Yeah, aún me hace falta. Yes, I can understand. So you can say, I miss him. Lo extraño. I miss him, right? Uh, I miss my dad or I miss him. So that's it. And you can say, instead of saying died, en lugar de decir que el verbo morir, podemos utilizar passed away. My father passed away. Okay. And Elisa, how old was your father when he passed away? Was he 60, 70 years old? Uh, 80. Tenía 96. 96. He was 96. Tenía uh, 98. Uh, 6. 96. Uh, 96. Wow. He was. He lived a lot. Vivió mucho. <laughs> yes. So he was. Uh, really uh, amazing. It's incredible. That's amazing. But now our generation or the other generation, I don't think that we can live too much. No creo que podemos vivir tanto, right? Well, but interesting. My brother eh, is el mayor. Uh -huh. Va por el mismo camino. Ya tiene eh, 84. 84. Good age. And is he active? Es activo. Is he active? Yes. yes. Oh, good. That, that's uh, something really good for the health. Okay. The oldest, el mayor. The oldest. Porque oldest. old mm -hmm. es, es un superlativo. Okay. Thank you, Elisa. Thank you for sharing that experience. I know that it was very difficult. Okay. But it's part of the life. Okay. Thank you, Eli. Really good. Uh, Mardo, are you ready, my friend? Okay, teacher. Yeah. The saddest moment of my life was when my mother passed away. Passed away. Okay. It was eight years ago. 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 Okay. Eight years ago. Hace ocho años. Very good. So, yeah. um, do you remember how old was she? Do you remember uh, her age, su edad? Yeah. She was? Uh, she was 78 years old. Oh, good. Well, it, uh, she lived a lot too. También vivió bastante, 78. But we want our mothers to be eternal. Our, our fathers to be eternal. Nos gustaría que para siempre. But, well, that's life. Okay. So, well, it happens. Um, something good or something that we would like to is to say goodbye. Algo que nos gustaría siempre despedirnos, right? To say goodbye, at least it is something that uh, it is like very important for us. Thank you, Mardo, okay? Eight years ago. And I know that uh, it is difficult to accept la aceptación, okay? To accept, it is it's kind of difficult, but it's the first step el primer paso and then you go improving step by step vas mejorando poco a poco but I know it is not so easy no es fácil okay thank you Elisa and Mardo for sharing uh, your experiences do we have some other okay two more vamos a tener dos más no, no two more sino two more yes Oscar hello my friend teacher Dios buenas noches good night uh, good evening, okay. porque good night ya me estás mandando la cama. Good, me gustaría, yeah, pero no. good evening, sorry. Ok, Oscar, Oscar and Claudia, and then Carlos. Ok, teacher, good evening, good evening, class. Uh, hello. Hey. Uh, uh, what is the sign moment of my life? Uh, my sign I moment, peaceful moment for me was the day my mother. Day and the in the next day I went to worry hard and did not see her 
physical anymore. That moment is is I feel uh, still having no going over. Okay, so that happens from one day to another, de un día para otro. So Rápido. you couldn't see her. No eh, fue, fue, fue este terremoto del 2001. ¿Cuándo? Eh, eh, one terremoto. Okay, uh, did your mother pass away in the, in the earthquake, in el terremoto? No. No, no, eh, ella está enferma. Ah, she was, she was ill. Estaba sí, pero este, desgraciadamente ese día sucedió también. Oh, really? So definitely you will never forget that day. Nunca vas a olvidar ese día para nada. <laughs> nunca, nunca. It's difficult to forget. Okay. And how old was she? Uh, she was 48. 48. She was 48. Tenía yeah. 48. She was young. Yeah. Estaba joven. 48. Yeah. Yes. I was uh, 20 years old. Ah, uh, you, you was 20, 20 years old. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I don't know how much time, cuánto tiempo, how much time was she ill? Cuánto tiempo ya estuvo enfermo? Um, One year, two years, five uh, months? No, uh, for uh, three years, for uh, ella tenía uh, azúcar en la sangre. Ah, ok. Yes. Diabetes. Uh -huh. Pero ella estaba tranquila, pero ella sucedió un viaje y parece que el viaje la puso algo mala. Y yes, y that affects a lot. People who suffer from sugar pressure, uh, there are some things that affect a lot to them. Les afecta mucho. Diferentes cosas. Ok, thank you Oscar for sharing that. I know that's sad. También este es parte de las historias tristes. Y la, esta enfermedad, diabetes, son de esas enfermedades que se escriben igual que español, but the pronunciation is, is different. Igual cancer, se dice cancer, pero se escribe cancer. Cancer, and this is diabetes, and there are some others. Ok, thanks uh, for sharing. Gracias por compartir, Oscar. Well, uh, we go with Claudia, right? Eh... My, my saddest moment has been when my grandmother uh, did and all when my elder down there was uh, admitted to the hospital. Your older daughter, hija mayor. Aha, no. o, aha, hija mayor. Ah, the oldest aha, yes. daughter. Oh, okay, yes. Olders, aha, uh -huh. olders, aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Está donde puse, aquí está, oldest, um, the oldest. Okay, uh, yes, grandmothers, well, that affected uh, to me when my grandmother passed away, and I, so I can, I can understand you, the way you felt, la manera como te sentiste, and your granddaughter, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, your daughter, when she was admitted to the hospital, cuando fue ingresada al hospital. Is that what you wanted to say? Eso quiere decir. Eh, sí, sí, sí. Ah, claro. okay, yes. Eso. Well, I, I guess that when you are a, a when you are a parent, cuando ya eres padre o madre, it is that is something that is really, mm -hmm. really shocking and difficult when your kids are ill or in the hospital, right? Cuando ellos están en el yes. hospital, eso es realmente duro. Okay. Eso yuca. <laughs> sí, es yes, duro. it's really hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Es como decimos yuca. Yes, it's hard. Okay, it's tough. It's so, yuca. Oh, yes, but your daughter improved. ¿Mejoró tu hija, Claudia? Yeah. Sí, sí, mejoró. Okay. La verdad, That's... ella cuando estaba chiquita parece los broncos, ¿verdad? Ok. Entonces me dieron una, eh, se puede decir, como una terapia aquí en casa. Y solo así sí, se le quitó. Yeah. Usually, the kids mm -hmm. have breathing problems. Tienen problemas de respiración. Breathing problems. Kids. De respiración. So, yes, so that's really mm -hmm. common. And it's delicate. Y es delicado. Okay, well, sí, I guess... Pero, hmm? yes, pero fíjese que lo que me dijeron eh, para que se le quitara eso a ella era que tenía que eh, abrigarla bien y que ella inhalara el, lo heladito de la refri lo que es el, el donde se congela y todo entonces sí de la cara de Kenia como la mía la, y Evelyn lo, 
What? Es serio, ¿Cuál es serio? Richard, yo parecí, sí. yo parecí de los ponchos chiquitas, si hubiera sabido eso hubiera hecho. Oh, ok, ok, es, now ajá, you got my attention. Pero... Ahora tienes mi atención, Claudia. <risa> totalmente, totalmente. Yo le, what? Ok. <risa> ¿En serio? Are you kidding? No, no está bromeando. Sí. You're not, not no, kidding. No, estoy bromeando. Okay. Fíjense que al principio yo no creía porque yo dije, no, ¿cómo? Si, si, en realidad lo que mi hija pareció de pequeña era bron, ay, brup, una enfermedad que se llama brup, de, de la tráquea. Okay. Entonces lo que el refri hace es desinflamarle lo que es la tráquea para que ella pueda respirar. Como la tráquea es un músculo, entonces, entonces no eso creía. helado seguramente Correcto. disminuye la inflamación. Correcto, depósito. ajá, entonces eso es lo que yo hacía, ajá. Entonces yo eso hacía, eh, lo que hacía, la abrigaba bien a ella y la metía en la refri, la cabecita en el congelador. <risa> yo pensé que toda. No, ok, yes, you want to <risa> on no. the face, just the face. <risa> Esta Kenia es mala. Creo yes, no, es just bien the feo, face. la verdad. Es <risa> Sí, sí, la verdad es bien difícil ver algo y, y a veces uno no hay que hacer, ¿va? Pero I sí, guess. en realidad eso sí me le sirvió. Really strange. That's one of the most strange things that, that I have heard. De las cosas más extrañas que he escuchado para curarte. Ok. He escuchado pues otras. Ahorita la niña pero esa me está eso. en el top. Uh -huh. Cuando termine el es curso le puede dar la... Medio pelada, pero... Sí. <risa> Bueno, Claudia, sí, creo sí, que... Sí, Se convirtió en consultorio aquí, ya veo. Yes, yes. Doctor Merengue. Sí, eso okay. veo. Um, I guess, um, before I go to sleep, before I go to bed, I'm going to be thinking. Um, voy a estar pensando en eso. Pues, I'm going to check in YouTube. Voy a ver YouTube, a ver si... Ok, my bueno, friends. Pues, ok, bien. thank you. Yes. Thank you. Ok, um, uh, we're going to stop a little bit. Ya se está poniendo interesante eso. That's something that I like of opinions, experiences, and questions. Well, my, my, my question, the questions that, that I sent you, de la pregunta que le digo, because you always have interesting things to say. Siempre tienen cosas interesantes que decir, always, okay? So that's it. La pregunta que le hice a, a Claudia fue esta. Are you kidding? Eso significa, ¿estás bromeando? Es, significa eso. Are you kidding? ¿Estás bromeando? Es como que, ¿es en serio? Cuando alguien le dice, ¿es en serio? ¿Estás bromeando? En español decimos, ¿qué paja va? Ok, but in English we say, ¿are you kidding? No, la otra es, ¿are you... ¿Are you serious? Obviously, you can say, really? Pueden decir, really? Pero cuando dicen, are you kidding? Are you serious? Entonces ya le ponen como, como ya más picante, como que ¿no? no te creo, ¿verdad? So that's it. Are you kidding? Y para contestar eso. Pueden decir esto. For real, de verdad. For real. Not kidding. No estoy bromeando, solo. No es broma, not kidding, okay? For real, not kidding. That's something uh, that, that useful, it is useful, really. Es bastante, eh, esta, esta frase le recomendaría que la copiaran, okay? Are you kidding? Are you serious? Uh, for real, not kidding. Estas frases son las que ustedes deben de naturalizar, hacerlas parte de ustedes, okay? Otras personas, um, voy a quitar esto. Porque es que estas frases, I consider that these phrases are kind of, uh, are useful. También otra forma de decir, what did you say? Pero la, realmente lo, 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 los gringos dicen esto. Say what? When you say, say what? ¿Qué dijiste? Eso es, say what? Ok, pero es informal. Lo formal es, what did you say? Okay, so that's it. So the different uh, expressions that I always consider that you, you can learn them. Pueden aprender por lo menos una o dos de esas frases, ya la van internalizando. Okay, so we continue. In, I'm pretty sure, so I'm pretty sure that you have some other experiences. 
o tres experiencias. Ok, mañana hablamos de experiencias para, no, sí, mañana vamos a hablar de experiencias paranormales, but in this case, we are talking about sad things. Ok, different. Me va a tener hablando toda la clase, teacher. Yes, yes, that's something. Because remember, we were talking about opinions, ya estuvimos hablando acerca de opiniones, but now we're talking about experiences. Estamos hablando de experiencias, y por eso es que estamos, estamos utilizando los verbos en pasado. Ok, because we are uh, expressing past situations, ok, anecdotes, but in past, en pasado. Y hoy vamos a hacer otro refuerzo. Ok, meanings of get, los, el significado de get. Get, it has more than 16 meanings. Tiene más de 16 significados, esta palabra, get. It's like, a, like, let me see, estoy buscando una palabra en español para como, como get como una analogía, porque tiene, se utiliza para bastantes cosas, ok, so get, that's it, es como arrive, buy, understand, receive, arrive significa llegar, verdad, um, and got home, aquí se pueden ver en pasado, they left, left es el pasado de leave, o sea, ellos se fueron a las 4.30, they left at 4.30 and got home at 5.30 y llegaron, llegaron a casa en pasado, ok, got es el pasado de get, es un verbo irregular buy, de comprar cuando ustedes van a comprar algo I got, recuerden, got es el pasado de get, es un verbo irregular, I got a new phone last week yo compré un nuevo celular uh, la semana pasada understand y aquí viene una frase que yo ya se les he explicado. I don't get it. No lo entiendo. I don't get it. Ok. So, um, aquí tenemos otra. Cuando, imagine, I am explaining uh, some instructions. Estoy explicando indicaciones. And you, and you say, is it clear? Está claro. And you can say, ah, got it. Got it significa ya caí. Ya entendí. Captado. Copiado. Ok. Got it. Eh, si, si en un chat eh, les están dando indicaciones, ustedes pueden de decir got it, que es entendido. Ok, so that's it. So here we have this example, I understand, entender. Didn't get what he said, did you? No entendí lo que él dijo. ¿Y tú? Y aquí está, es, I don't get it, no entiendo. Ok, um, let me see, lo voy a poner por acá. And receive. Did you get my email yesterday? ¿Recibiste mi correo ayer? Eh, entonces, el did es el auxiliar para el pasado. En lugar del do, que es presente, did es para el pasado. Entonces, did you get, recibiste, did you get my mail yesterday? Ok, so here we have arrive, buy, understand, receive. Estos son lo, algunos de los significados principales que podemos tener con la palabra get. Ok, if you want to copy, you, you can take notes, pueden tomar nota. I'm going to check the attendance list. Please say hi. Hello, if you listen to your names. Okay. Um, Carlos, hello. Hello, teacher. Thank you. Pinto. Well, Pinto is not here. Uh, Carito. I'm here, teacher. Perfect. Edwin. No. Okay, good, Edwin. Elisa. Present, teacher. Nice. Steffi. Okay, Evelyn. I'm here. Okay, good. Gabriel. Present teacher. Nice. Duran. Uh, present teacher. Good. I like your flag. Me gusta tu bandera. Duran, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Punto extra. Punto extra por eso. Okay. So nice. Yvette. Thanks, teacher. Present teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Jackie, no Jackie, Kenya. Present teacher. Perfect. Luis, are you there, Luis? Okay, Mardo. Present teacher, present. No, it's perfect. Uh, Oscar. Um, present oh. teacher. Nice. Nina. Hello, teacher. Hello there, Wilfredo. No, Claudia. 
Okay, Wilfredo. I am here, teacher. You are there in Wendy. Present, okay. okay, that's perfect. We're going to start now. And let me see. Okay, let me check this. Okay, here we have this. Do you remember? Vamos a hacer esto, digamos. Gracias por silenciar sus micrófonos. Thank you. Okay, I send you this. Les envié esto, ¿verdad? So this is a list of yeah. 101 irregular past tense verbs. Son una lista de 101 y este tema lo voy a tratar casi tres días. Do you remember the uh, adjectives? ¿Se recuerdan los adjetivos? Le, los me tomé casi tres días para explicarlo, o sea que, pero voy por poquitos, ¿verdad? Para que captemos, entonces, desde ya quiero comenzar con este tema que es un poquito amplio, ¿ok? 101 irregular past tense verbs, ¿ok? And I'm pretty sure that you know at least 70, creo que conocen al menos 70 de esos, 60 or 70, I'm pretty sure. And definitely there are some of you who already know all of them, y algunos que ya los conocen todos, ¿ok? But uh, these are irregular, que quiere decir que al ponerlos en pasado, al conjugarlos al pasado, no llevan ed, ¿ok? So I need you to select one and tell me one that's interesting, que ustedes consideran interesante, o que ya conocían, o que no conocían, depends on you, ¿ok? So for this, we start with uh, Kenya and then Claudia, ¿ok, Kenya? I need you to say in present and past. Por ejemplo, aquí tenemos give, gave. ¿Ok? Cualquiera puede ser. Una oración sería. No, no, no. Así como yo lo dije. Por ejemplo, acá tengo. Ah, ok, ok. Así ve. Give, gave. Ok. Ah, ok. Eh, left. No. Leave, left. Ok. Oh, nice. Leave, left. Ok. Eh, Claudia. Eh, keep, kit. Ah, keep, este es kept. Ok, ajá, good. Ajá, kit. ¿Mm? Ajá, Hay algunos kit. que sí kit. cambian bastante, entonces sí se nota cuando está en pasado, but good. Thank you. Ok, we go now with Wendy and Durán. Mm. Sleep, slept. Sleep, slept. Thank you. Durán, Elisa. Uh. Give, wait, gave. Okay, good. Elisa, Yvette. Stand, stood. Okay, good. Nice. Ya, ya captaste que con dos O se pronuncia con U, ¿verdad? Stood. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. Lo que les digo que es un, es un parámetro, ¿verdad? Que, que se repite. Thank you. Yvette, Mardo. Strict, struck. Okay, bien. The two. Like. Hmm? Like. Live. I don't get it. Okay. Live and live. L live. Live. Good. Thank you. Okay. Now we go with Oscar and then Carito. Uh, Han Hu. Han Hu. Okay. That's it. Han Hong. Uh, Carito Gabriel. Uh, live left. Okay, nice. Um, pay, pay. Okay, pay, pay. Uh, Nina and Carlos. Drink, drink. Okay, that's it. Carlos, Evelyn. Walking, walking. Okay, um, Evelyn, and then we go with. Sí, creo que ya te va a pasar. And Wendy, no sé si ya pasó. Ajá, Evelyn. Shoot, shot. Nice. Okay. Wendy, ya pasaste. Creo que sí. Okay. So, um, ya que tenemos esto, sigan su corazón y díganme cuál consideran que va con ellos. Algunos, and I consider that most of them, la mayoría de estos, cuando se 
este, pasan al pasado, valga la redundancia, cuando se cambian al pasado, la primera letra es casi la misma en presente y en pasado, aunque sean irregulares. ¿Ok? Ok, Mardo, tell me. Yep. Sí, hey. Ok, good. Ah, esta sí cambia. Uh -huh. It, eight, eight. Suena como que si fuera el número ocho. Así. Eight. Igual bien raro. ¿verdad? Ok, thank you, Mardo. Nina en Carlos. Go, when. Ajá, ese también cambia. Carlos. Ok, Carlos, I can hear you. And after Carlos, we go with Carita. Drive. Teacher, teacher. Yes, drive. Drive. Drop. Drop. Ok. Carito, and then Kenya. Forget, forgot. Ok, forget, forgot. Kenya and Evelyn. Have, have. Ajá, y este es bien importante. Ese, ya lo vamos a ver. ¿Dónde está? Had. Thank you. Thank you. Evelyn, and then we go with uh, Claudia. Go, got. Ok, sería get, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh, get, uh, uh, sí, sí, get, uh, get got. got. Sí, mm. that's it, perfect. Ok, Claudia, and then we go with Yvette. Uh, left con let. Ok, sería left. live. ¿O cuál es? Mm -hmm. Live and let. Left and left. That's it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh -huh. Ok. Wilfredo and we go then with uh, no. Os uh -huh. Oscar. No. New. Ok. No. New. En de las one tenemos, ¿verdad? Fly. Fly flow. No, flu. Flow es el que flow. ustedes se manejan, flow. pero este es flu. Okay. And, give, and, and give teacher gave. Yes, ah, se había ido. Give, gave. Thank you. That's it. Yes, okay. okay, perfect, my friends. So, can you see it is not that difficult? No es, no es que sea tan difícil, sino que ya vamos captando. Okay, that's it. And here we have some others que lo vamos a ver más adelante. También ese ejercicio lo vamos a ver más adelante. So, we continue. What's the saddest moment in your life? Okay, so for this, um, I guess we have Carlos and Nina. Creo que me habían levantado la vez pasada la mano. I guess. So, Carlos, are you ready to say what's the saddest moment in your life? Yes, teacher. Okay. Sad, my saddest moment is with my dad, with how, with toes, saying I need him. Okay. So, you're talking about material things? ¿Estás hablando de cosas materiales? Yes. No, teacher, de que mi padre se fue, digamos, de la casa sin decir nada. Ah, okay. So, he left. Aquí, es yes. Porque el verbo en presente es este. Live. Mm. Okay. Okay, good. Thank you. Como una canción de Chicago. If you leave me now, si me dejas ahora, ok? Igual una canción de José José, pero en español, así. What in Chicago was, as if you leave me now, he left, él se fue, así de simple. I know it is difficult. Hey, Carlos, how old were you? Your age, I was. I was 10. Ah, 10, you were a kid. You were a kid and you needed. Necesitabas a tu papá. You needed him. Okay. Yes. Okay, I understand. So, thank you, Carlos, for sharing. Nina, what about you? And then, I guess we're going to listen to Carito. Okay. When my 15 years old dog died. Oh, really? It's so sad for the family because uh, was uh, older children. Okay. So for my, uh, my last my last son. Okay. Right now, 15 years. Yeah. 15 years. Okay. But he'll uh, well. What, what, what was the name? The, the dog? Yep. Jambo. Jambo. Okay. Jambo. Meaning okay. hola in Swahili. Oh really? Hmm. Yeah. 
that, that's like an interesting fact, dato interesante. Okay, um, but for being a dog, uh, he'll, he'll live a lot, bastante para ser un perrito, because normally they live until 10, 12 years, right? Because they get older, se hacen un poco más ma, ma, viejito antes, so and they die. So 15 years, a lot of, a lot of time. Yes, 15 years, yeah. Okay, so I guess that's the top. Creo que ese es el, el, el máximo. I guess that's the top 15 years. Or the, race, uh, the race was uh, Cocker. Ah, ah that the was the range, race. 15 and 17 years. Oh, uh, really? He, he has pneumonia. No, pneumonia. Uh -huh. I, pneumonia. Pneumonia. Yeah. For this reason, oh, he died. So Oh, that was the reason. Yeah. And, and everybody is like very sad, similar. And when, when they pass away or when they die, the, the, our pets, we feel like if he was part of the family, right? Another, yeah. another yeah. family member. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, I, yes. I understand that feeling. Okay, Entiendo. thank you. Este sentimiento, yes, I know. Okay, thank you, Nina. Nice. And we have Carito and Duran. Okay. Okay, one of the saddest moments of my life was when my grandmother died two years ago and I was living here in El Salvador, couldn't go see her or say goodbye and had to be at, the, at her funeral online. Okay, yes, um, here we have the funeral and we have the burial. The burial is when the person is in the cemetery, okay? And the funeral uh, is when you go and the family get together and to speak, you cry a lot. So two years ago, mm, okay, Carito, how much time, uh, how much time was the difference between watching or contacting with your grandmother? I mean, seeing her, Berla, how much time? Five years, two years, years. without watching her, sin Berla. ¿Cuánto tenías cuando ya falleció? When, when she passed away. How many, how old was me or no, she? No, no. How many years, cuántos años, how many years without seeing, without seeing, watching her, sin mirarla, in person? Four years. Four years. Okay. Yeah. I guess something that's really, really hard for people who live in a in different country is that in this yeah. kind of uh, uh, activities, you can't be there, que no puedes estar ahí, right? That's yeah. something, and that is like a noodle, como un nudo, that uh, stays, it, it, se per, <laughs> y, y permanece por mucho tiempo, right? It stays like a lot of time, so that's it. Well, how old was your grandma when she passed away? Uh, a 80 80 okay 80 well yeah she lived i maybe i can imagine her like a very strong woman i don't know why yes okay thank you thank you carito i know okay. it is hard because it has two years right it's recent bastante reciente right okay but thank you carito for for sharing anim okay Nice. We have with Duran. Oh, oh yes, sir. Oh, my saddest moment in my life was uh, with my dad. Did oh, oh, he did the day before my high school graduation. The day of my graduation party, I was at my father's funeral. Wow, that's so shocking. Yes. Yeah. Bien impresionante, bien, bien, bien impactante, right? Because even you had a celebration next day, you were not happy. No estaba feliz, yeah. right? You were not happy. So no. it was, yes, when, when you have that crash, cuando tienen ese, okay, crash of emotions, it is difficult. Yeah, okay, how old were you? Were you 18 years old? I was 18, I was 19 or 62 years of 
Ah, he was 52. Él tenía 52. He was 52. 60, and, 62. Uh, 62. Okay. And you? Oh, 18. Ah, 18. Yes. You were, yes. Uh, you had your um, high school graduation, right? Well. Yes. Okay. Yes. That That's uh, another difficult thing. Uh, Dora, thank you for sharing. Thank you, my friend, for sharing. Okay. okay. We're going to continue later. Sí, siento que me estoy llenando de muchas eh, anécdotas tristes ahorita. Voy a estar cargado emocionalmente más tarde. Ok, let's continue with this. Um, aquí vamos a trabajar. Well, take a look at this. Necesito que la, la vean, please. I'm going to. Ok, I'm going to give you like five seconds. Okay, so you tell me some words, uh, Wendy, and then we go with Claudia. Saludos, Claudia. Okay, Wendy, tell us. Um, sir and mm -hmm. manager. Okay. Um, we go Claudia and Kenya. <laughs> no, no la vi, teacher. <laughs> pues sí, tenías la michelada ahí. ¿Qué ibas a ver? Okay, no problem. Sí. Relax, relax. Okay, we go with Kenya and Yvette. Welcome, nice to meet you. Mm -hmm, good. And Yvette, Oscar. Ay, qué pulso, teacher. Son los mismos que yo había visto. Ah, Welcome. Yes. Sí. Sí, okay. sorry. Okay, no problem. Who's next? ¿Con quién seguimos? Con... Okay, we go with Oscar en Evelyn. ¿Qué hay, Oscar? No la, no la vi, pero póngale un segundo otra vez. Un segundo. Ok, I'm going to put it later. Evelyn en Carito. What do you do? What do you do? Carito en Carlos. Evelyn, me quitaste mi frase. Ah, come on, come on. Girls, girls, girls over. Ok. Sorry. And, okay, Carlos. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mardo. No vi nada tuyo. Ah, de verdad. Okay. Como todo un caballero, no vio nada. Does anybody remember the names of the people in the conversation? Yo, yo, Josh, yo. Josh. Están bien, bien raros. Mario, Mario. Ok. Josh, Carito. Bueno, Mario, yes, Marto. Carito, me está inventando. Hmm. ¿Será que está inventando, teacher? Are you sure? Mi, mis tate. Tate. John. <ríe> A John, yes. Mr. John. Ajá. John, le dije que era como japonés, John. A Josh, dijiste George. Ok, John. Okay. And here we have Miss Tate. Okay. Recuerden que Miss es eh, señorita, verdad? Mrs. es señora, and Mr. es señor. Okay. So here we have, here we have uh, this. Let me see. Quiero ver si pueden ver bien la conversation. Creo que sí. Okay. So um. Uh, good morning. Are you Mr. John? Yes, I am. I am Miss Tate. I am the trainer. Trainer, también se le llaman a los, eh, a los coach, ¿verdad? Los coach son como los capacitadores, ¿verdad? Los que dan la inducción, así como carito a veces. Ok. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Let me introduce. Cuando utilizamos introduce, no es introducir, sino presentar. Si gusten, anoten eso. When you say, I want to introduce you, por ejemplo, acá. I want to. ¿Cómo se pronuncia, Ticha? Introduce. Introduce. In, pero no es intro, es intro. Introduce. Recuerda, no, intro, Ticha, no. Introduce. I want to introduce you. For example, imagine I, I have to present a, 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 new, a new classmate. So. I can say, hello class, uh, this, uh, I want to introduce you, uh, Carito, 
she's from Colombia. She is a very innocent and honest uh, woman, blah, blah, blah. So that's it. So I want to introduce you. Okay. So that's it. Uh, let me see. What else? Okay. Staff is el equipo. Es como decir team. This is Mario. Esto también, cuando utilizamos el this, literalmente, this significa este o significa esta. Y en español, eso es, I, here in El Salvador, it is really, es rude, es rudo. Decir, uh, ah, te presento, esta es Carolina. We don't say that, we say she is Caroline. Decimos, ella es Carolina. Pero en inglés, eso es bien común. Okay, this is Mardo, this is Wilfredo, this is Nina. Así decimos. Y se traduce como que él es Mardo, ella es eh, Nina. Por ejemplo, you are having a phone call, eh, digamos, ustedes están llamando, and you say, ah, hello, good evening, uh, this is Josué. Entonces, para decir, eh, eh, soy Josué o soy Mardo, cuando están llamando, dicen, this is, this is Nina, this is Duran. Eh, ok, entonces, para dar una idea de quién es esa persona, ok. So, this is Mario, aquí no le está diciendo este, Mario, estamos diciendo él es Mario, ok. He is the branch manager and this is Leo. ¿Verdad? Aquí le están presentando a Leo también. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? ¿Qué haces? What do you do? Uh, they refer to your occupation and specifically the functions you do. Se refiere a tu ocupación, tu cargo o las funciones que haces. And nice to meet you. I am in charge of the kitchen stuff. Estoy a cargo. I am in charge. Estoy cuando, esto es para decir estoy a cargo. I am in charge of the kitchen is el equipo de cocina. Great. Uh, Mr. John, what does the girl over there do? Cuando decimos over there, eh, como por allí. Allí o por allí. Eso significa over there. ¿Dónde dejo eso? Do, where do I put this? ¿Dónde pongo esto? Mm, over there. Ah, por ahí lo pueden poner. Okay. Entonces, over there significa por allí. Okay. Um, She's Nisa. She's in charge of purchases. Vamos a ver, Kenya. Do you remember what is purchases? Una palabra que vimos bastante el, la vez pasada, el curso pasado. Purchases. Purchases. Okay. No problem. Let's ask to Oscar. Purchases. Es como órdenes. O... Casi, casi. Carito. Compras. That's it. Compras. Ok. Así que ella está a cargo de las compras. Ok. So, trainer, no trainer. Train, train, como tren. Uh, si, si usamos esa palabra, miren. Train. ¿Verdad? Es tren. ¿Verdad? Trainer, trainer es entrenador, ¿verdad? O coach, como, como normalmente se dice. Introduce, introduce. This is Mario. I am in charge over there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's it. Okay, my friends. So, Carito, can you please... Um, can you please... Could you present... The screen should. Ready, teacher. Perfect. So, um, see you in. Le veo un par de minutos. So, look at. Voy a formar las parejas.
Okay, see you in a moment.
Hola, lo siento, Mardo. <risa> ¿Qué pasó? ¿Se quedaron a la mitad? No, sí, no, es que no había, no había pasado el minuto cuando ya nos habíamos salido. Bueno, yo <risa> le di a aceptar a eso. Okay. Sorry. Pero ya estamos aquí, teacher. Ok, perfect. ¿Sí? Volunteers for this? ¿Algún voluntario o voluntaria? Salud, Kenia. Eh, ahí está. Sure. Yes, eh, Mardo and eh, eh, I'm sorry, Duran, Evelyn. Ok, we start with Duran and then. No, Evelyn and then Duran. Ok, Evelyn, who was your classmate? Elisa. Ok, Elisa Vilja and Evelyn. Okay. Inicia Evelyn o inicio yo? Inicio. Hello, okay. good morning. Are you Mr. John? Yes, I am. Um, Miss Date, I'm um, the training night. Uh -huh. Nice to meet you. Uh, Iría Ay, Mr. Le... John. Sí, es, que, es que no se escuché, no escuché cuando terminó la oración. Ah, ok. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Date. Let me in, introduce the stars. This is Mario. He is the branch manager in this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, Mr. John, what does the girl over there do? She is Nisa. She is the shares of Porches. Okay, Porches. Estuvo bastante bien. I liked it. that pronunciation. Really good. Muy bien hecho. Duran. Thank you. Now your turn. Okay. Now, uh, uh, and Kenya. Okay. Showtime. Okay. okay, empiezo. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. John? Yes, I am. I missed it. I the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Mr. Tate. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. She's a brain manager at this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you and in charge of the kitchen staff. Great, or Mr. Job. What does the gear over there do? Chess, nice. She's in charge of purchases. Mm -hmm. Two purchases. She is Nisa. She is Nisa She's Kenya. She is Nisa. 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 Very nice. Good. Siento okay. que ya en las conversations ya están volviendo a tener fluidez. Ya, ya me gusta. Me gusta. I like it. O sea, ¿cómo suena? Thanks, teacher. Good. Okay. And here we have this. And this is like some questions. We have three questions. But before we go to this, here we have this. Use personal. Nina, can you help us reading this? The first part here. Use personal. Yes, Nina. Esto. What does Mario do? No, no. Esto quiero que leas. No. No, mira lo que estoy, lo que estoy seleccionando. Oh. Uh -huh. Our personal our training me alcanzo a leer. Okay. Ya, yeah, que tengo las. Let me see. What do you do, Leo? Ya. Yeah. Aquí, hoy sí, okay. all personal. Our personal our training to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tienes que leerlo, Nina. Please, I need you to help me reading. Ah, okay. Por eso te dije, help me reading. All, all personal are training to provide. No, es que lo, excuse me, teacher. I, I have some problem because the images of the classmate put inside the. the it is difficult the, for you to read. It is difficult for you. No, I, I'm trying to explain. The the picture or photograph to the my classmate is 
on the ping. Ah. Uh, yeah. Do you remember? Do you understand me? I got it. And I then it. can see. I need help my my son right now. And now? Ah, yeah. Ahora? Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I'm sorry. Use personnel with fuller verbs. All personnel are training to provide first ID. ID. The personnel aid, aid. aid. The personnel at the plants are certificate. Certified. 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 Mm -hmm. Go. So we use personal with plurals. O sea que personnel yeah. es para el personal en general yeah. de la empresa. Okay. So to provide yes, first aid. First aid se llaman como eh, los primeros auxilios. First aid. Uh -huh. First, first aid. aid. Yeah. So Red personal cross friend. Mm -hmm. Yes. And they are certified. Están certificados. Okay. Uh -huh. Nice. Okay. And in this case, uh, Gabriel, can you help me with the second? Use staff. Creo que estás hablando con tu yo interior, Gabriel. No, 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 no. Use staff followed by, by a singular. singular or a plural verb. This staff work for uh, 40 hours. 40 hours. 40 hours a week of kitchen. Staff follow. Y la teca, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Uh, follow, follows. Mm -hmm. Follow, follow the ministry of the heart regulation. regulations. Okay, good. Thank you. Eh, bien, pleca se dice slash, slash como el guitarrista de Guns N' Roses. Así se dice. Okay. So, um, in this case, we have the difference. Personal, ¿verdad? Eh, we lo, lo utilizamos como plural, pero no lleva S, pero es un, es un sustantivo que es plural. All personal are, por eso no decimos is. Ahora, staff significa equipo. Ok, so the staff work or works, ok, 40 hours, ok, a week. Mm -hmm. The kitchen staff, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? Entonces, so that's it. Um, let me see. Ok, so in this case, we have um, these three questions. Tenemos tres preguntas. What? Let's see, here we have them. Alguien me podría decir cuáles son las tres preguntas? Okay, yes, that's it. What do you do? Okay, here we have, what do you do? Okay, what do you do? Aunque no aparece aquí ninguna con, what do you do? Digamos así, pero yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mardo, aunque vamos a utilizar con Mario uh, y con Leo. Quiero ver. I'm sorry. Let's see. What does Mario do? Ah, uh, okay. What does Mario do? Yes. La tenemos acá. Let me see. No, right? No, no la tenemos. No, no. Entonces, pero ¿Sí? sí. What does Mario do? Yes. <coughs> eh, y la siguiente tenemos con Leo. What do you do? What do you do? Es la que decía Mardo. Uh -huh. What do you do? Uh -huh. Con Leo. And the last one with Nisa. What does the gear over there do? Ok, podemos utilizar esta. O podemos decir, what does Nisa do? Okay, what does Nisa do? Okay, ahora para la pregunta, we, we have to answer. Tenemos que responder. What does Mario do? Okay, any idea what does Mario do? ¿Qué hace Mario? What's her job? Or what are uh, his functions? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's at the... The kitchen staff. Okay. No es branch manager. The branch manager. That's manager. Okay, branch manager. Okay, okay. He's a branch manager. Sí, porque Leo es el que hace eso. Ajá, en el siguiente, <coughs> what do you do, Leo? Esa sí es la respuesta. That's your answer, Oscar. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. Mm -hmm. that, that's Leo. And the last one, what does Nisa do? Uh -huh. 
She's in charge of purchases. Yeah, purchases. Yes, purchases. Purchases. Está a cargo okay. de las compras. Okay. Perfect. That's good. Now, here we go to the listening part. I need you to be ready with your pen, pencil, because this is another conversation similar to the conversation that we have been having uh, these previous days. Okay. Give me a second. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm showing. Ya les se las no, mostré. Ya, la ya lo mostró, ya lo copié todo. Hasta captura, ver, hasta qué. Dígame palabras, dígame qué palabras vieron. Uh, Ajá. Listen. Listen. Y desde. Le letreaban Marisol, si no me equivoco. Mar y Sol. Ajá, guarda. Marisol. No, no, no. Marina. Ya le tomo mejor la captura de pantalla, no se preocupe. Ya, <risa> Mentira, ya veo, sí. ya veo cómo son de tramposos. Yo no he hecho aquí. Son tramposos. No, okay. yo no les he enseñado a ser tramposos. No, teacher, dele. Dele, dice. Es, ap es aprovecharse de la situación. No. Marisol, dijeron. No hay ninguna Marisol. Marina. Hey, ya ve es que Marina. No hemos visto nada. Marina Don Silva. Vaya, vamos a ver, pues se lo voy a poner siempre. Por estar, por estar pensando en otra cosa, se me fue. Ok, ready. Solo, vaya, solo por eso, solo una vez lo voy a poner. Y de ahí una vez leyendo. No sé, sí, sí, No, no es castigo, no es castigo. No, solo una vez así y la otra vez leyendo, ¿verdad? Relax. Pero lo que me gustó es que nadie dijo nada, o sea que todos son partícipes de la injusticia. No. Calladitos. No, están todos el así. micrófono, teacher. Ah, okay. Yo, okay. Let's listen. <laughs> es que este zoom está fallando. Okay. Hi, this is John. Thanks for calling. I'm not here at the moment, so please leave a message and I'll call you back. Hi, John. This is Maria Silva calling from Old Time Toys. Your colleague, Alex, gave me your phone number. She said you can help me. I need some information on your new product. Could you please call me when you are back in the office? My phone number is 0208-6557621. Also, can you please email me your new brochure and information about your prices? My email address is Marina. That's M A R I N A dot Silva. S I L V A at O L D T I M E hyphen toys dot com. Thanks a lot. I look forward to hearing from you. ¿Qué pasó, Kenia? <laughs> La cara de Kenia era como que no hay algo que hacer con su vida. Ok, ok, nice, relax. I'm going to play it one more time. Lo voy a poner una vez. Ah, sí. Ajá, es que le estaba dando la, la address, email address. Ok, pues let's listen again. Que lo pusieran rápido. No, 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 no. No, no, no lo puse rápido. Ok, one more time. Hi, this is John. Thanks for calling. I'm not here at the moment, so please leave a message and I'll call you back. Hi, John. This is Maria Silva, calling from Old Time Toys. Your colleague, Alex, gave me your phone number. She said you can help me. I need some information on your new product. Could you please call me when you are back in the office? My phone number is 
1-800-585-7621. Also, can you please email me your new brochure and information about your prices? My email address is marina, that's M-A-R-I-N-A -A dot Silva. That's I-L-V-A at O-L-D-T-I-M-E hyphen toys dot com. Thanks a lot. I look forward to hearing from you. Esa carita de Kenny me, <laughs> me llega. Okay. So, Marisol. A ver, Marisol is... Uh, tell me, volunteers, for some words. So the sick, Linton. Me, teacher. Okay, we go with Duran and, and Carito and Evelyn. Okay, Duran. Okay, teacher. Uh, please leave message, call, Tom front, can't help me, I need some information, number, can you please? An email address, uh, look for words. Okay, really good, a lot of words. Carito and Evelyn. Carito, creo que estás hablando con tu corazón. Yes, I'm so sorry. Okay. Hi, this is John. I am not here in the moment. Thanks for calling, Maria Silva, phone number, new products, uh, new brochure, prices. Thanks a lot. Uh, my phone number is, my email address is forward. Uh, he say you can help me. Nice. Mm -hmm. eh, y si lo nota, this is, ¿verdad? Utilizan el this is que les había mm -hmm. dicho, ¿verdad? Un inicio. Thank you. Evelyn and then Elisa, creo que está, de Marta. Yes, Evelyn. Okay. Hi, this is John. Thanks for calling. Call you, please. Uh, call you back. You phone number. Uh, my address. Thanks a lot. Yes, yes. Uh, very important. My address because they are uh, saying that they are interchanging or we're giving information. Thank you. Elisa and then Mardo. Hi, this is John calling. Hi, John. He is Marisilva. Number information, please. My number, six pigs. Can you please? My mail, Marina. Thank you. Okay, nice. Thank you. Very well done. Eh, eh, Mardo? Hi, this is John calling. This is Marina Silva. My phone number is, you can say, you can please me. Sing a lot. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Bien. Vamos a ver acá. No le voy a compartir otra cosa. No voy a decir que me equivoqué. Okay, Oscar, hello. Yes, you have something to say? Okay, quizás no. Okay, no problem. Where I have it. Sí que tengo varias pestañas abiertas. Okay, uh, let's listen to this pronunciation. Okay. One more time. La captura que ya la tenían. No es necesario que la ponga porque ya la tenían. Pero, well, let's do it. <laughs> Mal está Kenny. Hi, this is John. Thanks for calling. ¿Qué pasó, Kenny? ¿Te encendiste? ¿Qué pasó? Ah, lo siento. <laughs> ¿Qué pasó? Okay, let's do it again. Hi, this is John. Thanks for calling. I'm not here at the moment, so please leave a message and I'll call you back. Hi, John. This is Maria Silva, calling from Old Time Toys. Your colleague Alex gave me your phone number. She said you can help me. I need some information on your new product. Could you please call me when you are back in the office? My phone number is 0208-655-7621. Also, can you please email me your new brochure and information about your prices? My email address is marina, that's M-A-R-I-N-A -A dot Silva. That's I-L-V-A at O-L-D-T-I-M-E 
me-toys.com. Thanks a lot. I look forward to hearing from you. Ok, creo que sí estaba, lo que les confundió fue el spelling, eso fue, no estaba difícil, ya ven, solo es marina eh, dot silva at, at, es arroba, verdad, at o-l-d-t-i-m-e hyphen toys dot com, un, es un mail demasiado extenso para mi gusto, but that's the way it is, um, yep, teacher, teacher hyphen, Ajá. Lo mismo iba a preguntar. No, no es el nombre de la empresa. Hyphen. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Sí, es el nombre de la empresa. Uh -huh. That's it. Eh, como son correos eh, este, institucionales. Ok. So that, that's the way. And okay. pueden decirme si hay eh, verbos en pasado. Here we have. One, two, three, four paragraphs. Well. Five. Mm -hmm. Can you notice one? Gave. Gave yeah. me your. What paragraph? One or two? Second. Second paragraph. Gave. Yes. Uh, is the pass of give. Mm -hmm. Gave. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's another. Save. Save. Uh, save. Save. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Good. So can you notice? Uh, Cuando decimos, uh, hi, this is John. Okay. Uh, hi, John, this is Marina. So, esa es la manera como se habla por teléfono. Pues, normalmente cuando ya se conocen. Okay, so that's it. Um, let's move. Okay, so in this case, um, here we have questions. Para las preguntas, le voy a mostrar, uh, this is like another uh, es algo que habíamos visto creo que el módulo pasado information question we have how what when where who why okay this is these are uh, words that a journalist use que, que, que bueno que son las palabras que utiliza un reportero verdad cómo qué cuándo dónde quién por qué so these are important to uh, ask questions okay but in this case um, here we have this Estamos utilizando el presente ahorita. So, vamos a utilizar más que todo what and where. Okay. Look at the words in bold and complete the statements in the box. Vamos a completarlos. Es como se llama. Lo que hace falta, ¿verdad? De, de aquí hay otras preguntas. Ok. Um, Mardo, can you read, please, from one to three? Ok. What do you do? What department? Department, do you use supervise? What branch does the does she manage? Manage, manage, yes. Cuando tenemos una G y una vocal, normalmente es eh, eh, la, el sonido de la C, eh, SH, como orange, 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 ¿verdad? Manage, ok, that's it. Eh, Gabriel, four, five, and six, please. And we're to your company manufacturing. What you need to do oversee? Oversee. Who do you report to? Uh, who do you report to? Okay, very nice. And here we have this. Uh, we continue with, let me see, Oscar. To ask in, uh, information questions. Mm -hmm. To ask information questions in the simple present. Uh, thanks, thanks. Uh, thanks. Thanks with uh, begging with uh, W H W H W H phone of uh -huh. word uh, subject word word subject following B by uh -huh. do does 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 uh, subject the there, so there, so yes. Finally, add. Finally, add the base form. The base form. Uh -huh. S or E S form. Or S for uh, the verb on any other phrase. Phrase. Thank you. Thank you, Oscar. ¿Qué quiere decir esto? 
que va a comenzar con la WH. Pregunta con WH, por ejemplo, what. No, vamos a utilizar otra. What, la 3. Luego tenemos este, el sujeto, branch. Luego tenemos el do or does. ¿Verdad? Luego tenemos el sujeto, otro sujeto, y el verbo. ¿Ok? Uh, what branch does she manage? Ya vamos a ver eso de, de las terceras personas también. Se lo voy a explicar en esto. Vale. En los verbos de acción, we have action verbs, ¿verdad? Tenemos verbos de acción. Entonces, we already know, we already know that ya sabemos que en el caso, en el caso de los verbos, with third person, con las terceras personas, nosotros le agregamos S, ¿verdad? No problem with that. Ya sabemos que las terceras personas son las que siempre nos dan problemas en nuestras vidas, right? So, any verb with, eh, con las terceras personas se le agrega S, ¿ok? No problem with this. No tenemos problema con esto. Um, let me see. I don't know what is going on with this. La verdad que me está fallando esto. Ok. Just give me a second. Ok, vamos a continuar con esto mejor. I don't know what is going on with esta presentación. Bien. Vamos con eso. Ahora, eh, para las terceras personas, Mardo, do you remember the third person? ¿Cuáles son las terceras personas? He, she, it. Yes, that's it. Thank you. Así que sencillamente do vamos a utilizar para la mayoría de, de pronombres, pero does lo vamos a utilizar para, como dice Mardo, he, she, it. Ok. Sencillo. Básico, básico. Ok. So now that we have this. Now here we have uh, these questions, okay? Write the questions that correspond to the answer that follow, use the verbs in parentheses. O sea, aquí nos dan la respuesta. Here we have the answers. So what we have to do is the questions. Las preguntas son las que tenemos que hacer, okay? For example, here we have this, and I will need some help. Wilfredo, can you help me reading number one? ¿Me puedes ayudar con la número uno? What department? What department does Marta manage? Manage, uh -huh. ajá. Marta manages. Uh, Marta manages the sales department. Department, department, the sales department. department. Yes, el departamento de ventas. So, in number two, we have us. I supervise the maintenance department. Number three, Claudio oversees the branch in Ilopango. Y así sucesivamente. Estos son los verbos principales, ¿ok? Entonces, vamos a utilizar normalmente, podemos utilizar what, ¿verdad? Eh, lo que el sujeto, este sujeto, ¿verdad? Normalmente casi siempre se refiere, ¿verdad? A lo que se está preguntando. El do o el das, aquí quiero ver. Normalmente es das acá, el verbo y el sujeto. So, let's try to do some of this. Vamos a intentar hacer algunos de estos. Okay, do we have any volunteers? Tenemos un voluntario cualquiera. From two to six. Okay, Carito and Oscar. What number, Carito? Okay, I'm going to try number two. Let's try. I supervise the maintenance department. Uh huh. Okay, what department do you supervise? Yeah. Yeah. Easy peasy. What department do you supervise? I supervise the maintenance department. Mm -hmm. Yo superviso el departamento de, manten eh, de mantenimiento. Eh, otra cosa, supervise es, sin es sinónimo de overseas. Synonyms. Significan pues prácticamente casi lo mismo. Ok, Oscar, your turn. And then if we have some other volunteers, please raise your hand with emoji. Huh? Uh, what department is uh, the... Uh, I'm sorry, what number? 
What number are you talking about, Oscar? Uh, number five. Number five. We manufacture in Santana plant. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, what department? Uh, does is manufacture? Okay, manufacture, yes, es importante. Uh -huh. Pero en este caso vamos a utilizar otra palabra. Where. Uh -huh. Ok, ¿dónde? Uh -huh. Where, podemos decir este. Do you, la, y lo que tú dijiste, manufacture. Uh -huh. yeah. Where do you manufacture uh, the products? Ese estaba difícil, realmente. Ok. Pero, pero está bien, manufacture. ¿Dónde eh, re fabrican el producto? We manufacture in Santana plant, en el planta de Santana. Thank you. Ok. Uh, any others? Maybe we have some volunteers. Wendy, Evelyn, Carlos, Eli. We have three, four, and six. And three. Ok, let's try number three. Where, where does Claudio oversee? Uh -huh. hmm. uh, okay. Where does Claudio oversee the branch? The, uh, the branch. <laughs> sí, donde. Uh -huh. Podría ser eso. ¿no? Y que sería que, que, que Claudio supervisa la, la planta de, de, de Ilopan. Okay. That's it. And number four and six. Las volunteers ya nos quedan 30 minutos de clases. Almost to finish Saturday. Casi terminamos Saturday. Thursday. Terminamos casi jueves. Estaba pensando en Saturday. Ok, Eli, Eli. I guess. Okay. What trying to new stack Douglas? Ok, what? Uh -huh. so what train? Mm -hmm. The new staff. Ok, pero que recuerda que aquí el verbo en paréntesis está do, ¿verdad? Entonces sería, aquí es what, una pregunta what básica. Do. ¿Qué sería? What does? What does? Douglas, y el verbo Douglas. en paréntesis es? Do. Ajá, ¿qué hace Douglas? What? Ah, pues Douglas eh, capacita el nuevo personal. No, personal. Yes, thank you. Carlos, you go with number four. Um, aquí te voy a dar. Where, aquí, se, where, aquí se utiliza who. Ajá, who. Who does do. Tú, ajá. Y el sujeto do. que es. Supervisor. Casi, casi. Assembler. Assemblers, yes. Eso estaba complicadito. Report. Ajá, report to. Who do assemblers report to? ¿A quién le reportan los ensambladores? Ok. Y aquí, ¿verdad que le reportan al supervisor? Ok. Uh, let's continue with this. Uh, what's the name of this song? Vamos a ver si avanzamos con esto, pero también what's the saddest moment? Vamos a avanzar con esto y de ahí vamos con la canción que ahora sí le toca. Eli, that's, tonight is your turn, right? Hoy sí es tu turno, ya viene lista. Ok. Me dijo Eli que hasta coreografía tenía. So we have like a big show now. <laughs> But before this, we go to this. Wait, let's wait a little bit. Vamos a esperar un poco. Uh, what's the saddest moment in your life? In here, I would like to listen to Kenya. And then I would like to listen to uh, Wendy. Okay, teacher. Please. The first to now of the dust of my great grandparents. And the second, the that one of my nephews has been going with a cloth, cloth lip and um, to see mm -hmm. the process of his surgery. Surgery. Oh, yes, yeah, the surgery. But uh, he was, your nephew was a baby, right? Or 
even he was an adolescent. Okay, a baby, and he had or she had like a, a surgery for his lip. That's, bueno, él en, en sí tiene los dos eh, labios. Okay. Y Oh, yes, yes. But that's those, it. Uh -huh. Pero ya, In, gracias a Dios, pues, le hicieron las... Oh, las... perfect. Perfect. Kenya, but how many surgeries uh, did he receive? ¿Cuántas cirugías? Just one surgery? Two. 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 Yes, normally I know that maybe they can be two or three because it is a long process, un proceso largo, right? It is yes. not so easy. Yes, but thank... Pero, uh -huh. Es un nudo verlo porque este, necesito de que a los cuatro meses fue su primera cirugía. He was a little one, baby, baby. Y okay. a los, ¿qué? A los 15 meses fue la segunda. But better, it's better that he can have a surgery as a baby because he can regenerate, se puede regenerar mejor as a baby. Yes, yes. Okay, so that's it. Mm -hmm. Well, thank God now he's okay. Gracias a Dios que ahora está bien, right? Well, sí. but it is really hard. Es duro también ver eso, sí. ¿verdad? Ok. Well, thank you, Kenya. Nice. We go now with... ¿A quién le había dicho? Creo que a Wendy le había dicho, right? Wendy, and then we go with um, Evelyn. Um, yes, teacher. Um, one of my sad, saddest moments when my dog got sick the last year. Oh, really? Your, it's your pet. What's the name of your dog? Stevenson. Stevenson. <laughs> Why Stevenson? Stevenson is the name of my, the, my dog. Interesting name, Stevenson. Interesting <laughs> name. It sounds really formal. Bien formal. Se. Me imagino que bien obediente. <laughs> well, um, but... So, oh, so, so. Uh, but now Stevenson is okay, right? Yes, it's okay, oh, okay. but... Um, for moments, uh, he was sick. Estaba he, enfermo. He was sick. Sí, for the neurolo problems, neurological, neurological problems. Yes. Well, um, let me tell you that any kind of Ill, illness or sickness, cualquier enfermedad, aquí se los escribo. Uh, when I hear, cuando escucho, when I hear illness or sickness, I imagine also money, right? Because it is not cheap. Okay, illness, sickness. Eso significa enfermedad. Ill significa enfermo. Sick también significa enfermo, okay? okay. So uh, he was ill, he was sick. Okay, illness, sickness. Okay, that's it. Thank you, Wendy. Steven, okay. so interesting <laughs> name. Okay, we go with uh, Evelyn, and then after Evelyn, we go with Yvette. Okay, the saddest moment was pass away of my best friend. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, how how long time ago? Hace cuánto tiempo? Ten years, ten years ago. Okay, how long time ago? So ten mm -hmm. years ago. Mm -hmm. And it is difficult. Was yes. he or she very young? Maybe he was 20 something, with 30 something, era 20, an, 20 años, 30 años. Yes, yes 20. 20. Wow, well, come on, he was so young. He was <laughs> really young. Yes. And it is difficult. I don't know why I have seen cases in which good people pass away. Buenas personas fallecen. I don't know why it happens. And they pass away young, y, y fallecen jóvenes. He yes. visto muchos casos. Okay, so, yes. Uh, we're always miss people. Siempre vamos a extrañar esas personas all the time. So, well, thank you for sharing, Evelyn. Real nice, uh, well, nice story. Here we go now with um, Yvette. Okay. Mm. My, my Sunday's moments was the day my older brother did he was 35 years old when he did. I always take care of myself. I really miss it. Okay, you really miss him. 
He was 35 yes. when he died, when he passed away, when he falleció. Wow, really young. Yes. And did he have family? I mean, a, a wife, son or daughter, or was he single? O estaba soltero? Eh, eh, casado, sí. Ah, married, married. He was yes, married. married, sí. Um, With kids? Yes, three. Oh, come on. So, yes, it, and it is hard because those kids, they need her dad. Necesitan a su papá, right? So, it is also hard for you and difficult for them as well. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Yvette. Thank you okay. for sharing as well. So, now let's have, okay, vamos a cambiar un poquito ahorita esto y vamos con la presentación. Bien, Elisa, puedes poner la cámara más lejos para la Coreografía, coreografía que tú traes. Vamos a ver. Todos los participantes. Okay. Se, me cor se me corrieron los bailarines. Ni modo, ahí está sincronizado que con muy Carito. Noche, sueño. Kenia, Acá, Gabriel. Kenia. Sí, sí, ahí. Uh, usa, usa. Teacher, usa. Teacher. No, 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 I can't. It is difficult for me. Okay. So, Elisa, ahora vamos a ver. Uh, let's try to share. Vamos a intentar compartir, ¿ok? Ok. En la parte de abajo, the down part, downside, en la parte de abajo, compartir pantalla, share screen. Yeah. No tienes abierto otros, uh, ahí, ¿verdad? Otras cosas, ¿no? no, no, no si no. estás viendo no, no, Netflix, no, no, no. vamos a ver qué estás viendo ahí mientras está la clase, la reina del sur, o something like that. Yeah. Ok. Ok. Mm. La... Yes, yes, we can see it. Podemos verla. Okay, can you read it? Puedes leerla, please. Okay. Claro que sí. Diamond life, lower boy. Women is paid with minimum waste and maximum joy. City light and business night. When you recall a street car desire for higher hikes. No place for big fake for beginner or sensitive hearts. When sentiments is less to change. No place to be ending, but somewhere to start. Okay, I guess I have no idea about it. Is it a band or a singer? Una banda o cantante? Cantante. Cantante, it's a singer. Okay, any ideas, my friends? Alguna idea de, de quién podría ser? La Rihanna. La Rihanna. La Rihanna. Eh, digo yo la canta no. Larry no. Ana o la Rihanna o, no, o Ariana Rihanna. Grande o what Umbrea, Ajá. no, Rihanna ah. Umbrella o Diamond Ok, is it, is it uh -huh. eh, Dice uh, ¿Qué ver? Dice Diamond Light, Lover Boy We moon in space with minimum waste en maximum joy, city light, and business night. When you recast it, card is set for higher high. Yo por la oh. melodía diera un poquito. Good, very nice voice. Tiene buena voz, mira, Lisa. Ay, ya veo cómo enamoraste a tu esposa. Ok, good. But even I have no idea. Aún así creo que no me lo escucha carito. Ay, quick. Ay, quick. O sea, se va a salir del curso, dice. Ok, no <laughs> problema. No, no le atino a ninguna. Ok. Um, no, eh, Eli. Nina, Gabriel, que lo veo así como. Wendy está llorando, relax. So, uh -huh. no, we give no. up. Nos damos por vencido. Give up. Como dice Carita, I quit. Dejo de compartir ya. ¿Salgo? No, Kenia siempre sabe. Kenia. Ay, no, Ay, no. Pensé que yo pensé que Bye. era Les... una decía. Vaya, una. Eh... Pistas. Ah, quiero ver. No, pero es que si no le les si doy no, les do... con, el, con la cantada. Uh -huh. Bailas. Vaya, tal vez con el coro. El coro dice smooth o purerar. Smooth. Ah. Oh, put it up. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cost to yeah. cost to lay to Chicago. West operator. Es la de operator. Yes. ¿Cómo se llama? What was the name? Smooth Operator. 
snap operator. The same. Ah, uh, yeah. What's the name of the singer? Because I, I, I don't know him. Me no sé cómo. La música, say. ¿Cómo se llama el cantante? What's the name of the, the singer? Es singer Say. Sade. Sade. Ah. Uh -huh. I didn't know the, the name of the, that singer, but actually. Uh, ya, 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 ok. Ah, ah. No puedes mostrar YouTube, Eli. I'm sorry. Perdón. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Si no, no me van a banear el video. <laughs> ok. <laughs> well, yes. Sí, no, no podemos mostrar material de terceros. Ah, no, si no, les pusieron un montón de, de cosas. Me van, a, <laughs> me van a. ¿Qué dijo, teacher? Banear. Ban es eliminar. Banear, ¿verdad? O bloquear. Entonces, okay. eh, como esas clases, all these classes are uploaded, ¿verdad? Están, se suben a YouTube, entonces hay, una, hay unos filtros, por eso es que si se dan cuenta, yo nunca les pongo videos de YouTube ni nada, me gustaría, me encantaría, como no tienen idea. But... Recomiéndelos. En el WhatsApp, teacher. Ok, yeah, maybe. Ahí le voy a mandar unos cumbiones. No, uh, actually. For the copyright. Es, es, yes, for the copyright. Sí, no, no podemos estar, en verdad, Derechos. presentar eso. Unfortunately, desafortunadamente, ¿no? Porque hay mucho material que me gustaría. Imagínense, las clases serían todavía mucho, mucho más activas todavía, ¿verdad? But, well, hago lo posible. Créanme que hago malabares, créanme. Ok, yes, but thank bueno, you, El. I'm sorry. Ahora, ahora ya sé cómo se llama. I know the name of the singer. Interesting. Sí, la he escuchado esa canción. Really nice. Thank you. Bien, vamos a hacer una de las actividades, the final activities. Vamos a presentar a, digamos, well, here we have a role play. Eh, quiero que hagan eso. Quiero que me presenten a alguien, pero no en persona, sino que ahorita uh, you're going to say information about a person. For example, hi, I want to introduce two, two new employees. Eh, pueden decir one new employee, porque ya tenemos poco tiempo. Solo nos quedan 15 minutos de clase. Hi, I want to introduce one new employee. O pueden decir one colleague, one partner, or one member of our team. This is Mario, ¿verdad? Fíjense bien. I want to introduce, y aquí pueden poner cualquiera de estos, ¿verdad? One new employee, one colleague, one partner, uh, one member of our team. Cualquiera de estas opciones. Y luego comienzan a explicar. Puede ser, it, that person can be a real person in your company. Pueden ser una persona real en su trabajo. So, this is Mario. He is in charge of, and, ¿verdad? Y explican un poquito qué es lo que hace. Una función, ¿ok? This is Mario. This is Susan. This is, uh, what? Marisol, como estaban diciendo. This is Marisol. Uh, she is the supervisor. She is the, the manager, marketing manager. ¿Ok? She is like a sales person. Solo digan el nombre del cargo y una función, si gustan, o solo el nombre de, de, del cargo. What I need, lo que necesito, es que sepan cómo presentar a alguien. Ok. Hi, I want to introduce you. Hello. Es como que ustedes están presentando a, 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 a los compañeros de trabajo, ¿verdad? Así. So, um, puede ser cualquiera de sus compañeros de trabajo. Reales que no están acá, que no están aquí, ¿verdad? En, en el curso. Ok, uh, we start with what? We start with Carito and Ellie. Me quiere ponchar, teacher. Ok, Carito and Ellie. Ok. Uh, hi, Ellie. I want to. Ah, in... Casi, Carito, casi, casi. No, a nosotros nos vas a presentar. O sea, como que nosotros, los de la clase... Ah, no, a Eli. Ah, puede ser Eli o puede ser cualquier otra persona, la que tú quieras, ¿verdad? Si puedes, si quieres, puedes hablar de él. Entonces, a nosotros nos dices, hi, hi everybody, o solo hi, I okay, want to introduce. Okay. Hola, quiero presentarles a Eli, ella es, me debe dinero y todo eso. Right. Okay, so. Okay. Uh, hello, everybody. I want to introduce you uh, to Eli, to Lisa. Uh, she is the new employee. Uh, Elisa is in charge of selling from Anda. Excellent. That's it. Sencillo. Ya viste. Good. Okay, Ellie, and then we go with Kenya. 
Okay. Uh, hi. Uh, I want uh, Guillermo is my hijo, ¿cómo se dice? My son. Is my son. He uh, study uh, univer university. Okay, he studies in the, in the university. Okay, that's university. it, Eli. No problem. Thank you. Very nice. Kenya and Wendy. Hi, I want to introduce uh, one new employee, the gastronomic engineer. Mm -hmm. Okay, the gastronomic and the name is, his name is, because we don't know the name. ¿Cómo se llama? Is Carlos. Voy a inventar, voy a inventar. <laughs> ah, ok, good. Uh, we go now with Wendy and Nina. Uh, hi, good evening. I want to introduce a new partner. This is Ruben. He is a community manager. Ok. And my ex. Ok, good. Thank you, Wendy. Mm -hmm. uh, we go with Nina. En, en Durán. Casi okay. terminamos. Hi, I want to introduce my partner, Diego. He's in charge of the swimming pool. Good, easy peasy, right? Duran and Claudia. Okay. Hi, I want to introduce uh, the new employees. Uh, he is Carlos Escobar. He is a segment procedures engineer. Mm, interesting. Okay, uh, Claudia and Yvette. Uh, hi, why you introduce um, Miss Daly? She is supervisor. Mm -hmm. Easy. And engineer. And engineer, good. More information. Yes. Yv Yvette and Evelyn. Hi, good evening. I want to introduce one new partner. This is Sonia. She's a counter in the office. Good, in the office. Nice. Evelyn and Carlos. Hi. I want to introduce a new partner. This is Patty. She is in a shares of department training. Easy. Thank you, Carlos. And after Carlos, we go with Mardo. Hello, good evening. I want to industry need employ and and employee and Rom, employee and Romero and and not to take our tempo relax may we Perfect. go with Mardo and Gabriel Hi, I want to introduce a new working. He is Joseph. Okay, good. And we go with who? Gabriel and Wilfredo. Hi, I want to introduce, introduce a new employer. And this is um, this Marvin. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. Clone use will be in the party house. Excellent, Gabriel. Wilfredo and Oscar. Hello, good evening. Uh, this, this is uh, Luis Abrego. He is in charge of the contable. Okay. Of the accountant. No, the accountant department, thank you, or finance. And Oscar. Uh, hi, good evening. Um, I hi. I want to introduce a, a new manager. Uh, she he is a um, charge at the um, manager packing. Excellent. And the name is is Gabriel. Okay, Gabriel. Good. Nice. Otro nivel, Gabriel. Okay. Entonces, se dan cuenta. If you notice, this is a very short form how to introduce or present a new employee, a new partner. Y eso es, eh, pues, creo que es de mucho, de mucho, ¿qué? De mucha importancia, ¿verdad? Porque cuando llega alguien, 
y a veces ustedes lo conocen, o maybe you are the, 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 the coordinator, si son las coordinadoras o algo del buen equipo, you can say, it. hi, hello everybody, I want to introduce to a new partner, this is Mario, o he is Mario, como ustedes quieran, y así sucesivamente pueden decir todavía más información, you can add more information about that person, solo una palabra, this is, porque yo, yo siento que les está costando el, dicen, the is, es this is, ok, this is, no tengan miedo de, de pronunciar la S, ok, this is, e el otro es introduce, intro, introduce, ok, so that's it, ok, and vamos a terminar ya con lo último, que nos quedan seis minutos, what's the saddest moment uh, in your life, and for this we will listen to Wilfredo, are you ready? And then Gabriel. Wilfredo, are you ready? Uh, the saddest moment for me is the day my, my grandmother did, she was the person who raised me. Ok, the person who raised me, la que me crió, raised. Eh, raised significa criar, cuidar desde pequeño. So, how she died. Mm -hmm. The person who raised me very well. Um, I know it is difficult. Mothers uh, should be eternal. La mamá, los papás deben de ser eternos, yo lo sé. Everybody would love that. Eh, todos nos gustaría eso. Um, Gabriel and Edwin. Okay. But the saddest, but the saddest moment was when my parents eh, se puede, se puede ir, separated, separated. separated, separated. Me and my younger brother were wedding eh, for my mom to Moon to come back, come back, and she never arrived. Uh, ah, oh, she never arrived. Okay. Difficult. How old were you? ¿Qué edad tenías? Um, I was. I am. I am ten. I, my brother. I, ah, okay. My brother five. Okay. Ah, you were the older. Yeah. Same. I was ten. I was ten, and my brother was. Five. Yes, uh, it's difficult when parents separate. Okay, so in yes. this case, separated or separated, porque la T con una vocal suena como R. Separated. separated. Yes, and it's difficult that uh, can can affect a kid, even like a trauma. Puede ser hasta un trauma, and there are a, a lot of problems with that if uh, the kid uh, don't have like support, si no tiene mucho apoyo, pues eso afectaría mucho a cualquier niño, to any kid, yes. I know, a sad moment, I know, Gabriel, thank you, okay, and Edwin, are you there? Serías el último, and we finish the class. Okay, uh, for me, it's happiness, 13 years, I when my mother did, she died, she spent mm -hmm. years, Battling a disease that affected her bones. She died at the age of 44. Okay. 44. She was really young. Está bastante joven. Esta es otra forma para decir enfermedad. But when we say disease, es una enfermedad normalmente crónica. Illness and sickness son enfermedades, digamos que te dan, pero disease... Normalmente, disease es algo terminal. Mm -hmm. That's something, as Edwin says, disease uh, that affected bones. Él afectaba los, los huesos, right, Edwin? So, well, okay. yes, well, I, I know it is, it is really hard, okay? So, uh, oh, okay, thank you, Edwin. Thank you for, to all of you to, for, for sharing, pa, por, por compartir, I know, This is part of our personal uh, information, personal life. But I consider that these kinds of activities help us to develop fluency. 
considero que este tipo de actividades nos ayudan a, a mejorar la, la fluidez. And that's my main objective. Ese es mi, mi objetivo principal. Que ustedes mejoren todavía más la fluidez. I know you can learn grammar. Pueden aprender gramática. Pueden aprender reading, listening. But fluency. Esto es lo, 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 lo que más les va a denotar que ustedes están aprendiendo. Y en su trabajo, pues, eso es como la clave. Ok, my friends. So, um, this is the end. I'm going to check the attendance list and see you tomorrow that uh, we're going to have the end of the week. So uh, please say hi or hello if you listen to your name. Carlos, hello. Hello, there, teacher. Right? Thank you. Uh, no, Pinto. Uh, Carito. Hello, teacher. Hello there. Edwin. Hello, teacher. Good hello. night. Good night. Ellie. Hi, good night, teacher. Hi. Hi. Okay, so uh, tomorrow we were supposed to have uh, Steffi, but Evelyn, can you present your song tomorrow? Tu canción para mañana? Yeah. Evelyn, okay, creo que se. Yes. yes. Okay, please, for tomorrow. And okay. thank you. And Gabriel? Hello, teacher. Hello, Durant. Hello, teacher. Good night. Good night, Yvette. Hello, Kenia. Teacher. Hello, Kenia. Marto. Good night. Good night. Oscar. And Hello, Ro. teacher. Okay, Nina. Wilfredo. Hello, teacher. Uh, Claudia. Hello, Wendy. Teacher. Hello, teacher. Okay, my dear friends, have good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow, good night. Good night. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye. Okay, we were supposed to have a participant tonight for the 10-minute session. 
unfortunately um she was not um available for tonight so it means that we're going to have a a feedback about uh, the content that we started uh, tonight so um as a first activity we had a conversation between four people in which uh, the main point is to introduce or present personnel. Here we have a conversation between the Miss Tate, Mr. John, Mario, and Leo. So it starts like this. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Young? Yes, I am. I am Miss Tate. I am the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He is the branch manager and this is Leo. Welcome, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I am in charge of the kitchen staff. Great, um, Mr. John, what does the girl over there do? She is Nisa, she's in charge of the pork chases. Then here we have um, three questions. Complete the questions, then write the answers. And what does Mario do? What do you do, Leo? What does Nisa do? And here we have an uh, well extra information which help us uh, which helps us uh, to understand the use of personnel and the word staff work. It says like this, use personal with plurals verbs. All personnel are trained to provide first aid. The personnel at the plant are certified. Use staff followed by a singular or plural verb. The staff work works 40 hours a week. Our kitchen staff follow, follows the Ministry of Health Regulations. Then here we have how to use information questions, simple present. Look at the words in bold and complete the statements in the box. Here we have um, number one, what do you do? Two, what department do you supervise? Three, what branch does she manage? Four, where does your company manufacture? Five, what unit do you oversee? Six, who do you report to? And here we have uh, some questions. Uh, exercise number six. Write the questions that correspond to the answers that follow. Use the verbs in parentheses. Compare your answers with a partner. Here we have the first one. Uh, the question is, what department does Martha manage? And the answer is, Martha manages the sales department.
here we have the, the rest of answers. I supervise the maintenance department. Claudio oversees the branching in Lopango for the assemblers report to the supervisor. We manufacture in Santana plant. Douglas trains the new staff. Then exercise seven, your turn. Role play a two minutes conversation, introducing yourself and stuff, someone else at the business event. Example given, seminar training or product presentation. Take turns asking and answering questions like the ones in the model conversation. Eight, share, record your conversation as a video file. Share it with your instructor to present it to the whole class. In this case, we have a short activity which consisted on introducing or presenting a new member of a team. Could it be an employee, a partner, a colleague? So the script is like this. Hi, hello. I want to introduce one partner. This is Mario. He's in charge of the marketing uh, the community marketing and so on. so that's the way how you can introduce a new member of your team <laughs> 